Hey guys, how's it going? This is Fireworks Tutorial. Rainy day today, so I decided I should make a video tutorial. So anyways, I've got a lot of questions lately about, Hey Nina, how do you, like, add a watermark to your videos without using Camtasia Studio? Because last few months I made a video um, showing you guys how to do add a logo or what well, actually watermark to your videos using Camtasia Studio and I know a lot of us don't have Camtasia so I just thought that I should this video is really necessary cuz I don't want you guys getting your vi videos stolen from people that just want subscribers and steal videos so I'll be showing you guys how to do that using a free program called virtual dub a lot of you guys might not like virtual dub because it's a bit complex to use. I mean, the controls are a bit weird, and it's not like a normal video editor. But in my opinion, I think Virtual Dub is a great video editing program since it is free, and and also because it's just got a bunch of options in there. It's way better than Windows Movie Maker, although Windows Movie Maker is is a lot easier to use. Anyways, check Virtual Dub out before you judge it. Okay. Anyways. First of all, before we, I show you how to um, add a watermark to your videos, I'm going to show you how to make a watermark, a really simple one. Now you can use Paint or you can use GIMP for this. In this video, I'll be using GIMP. GIMP is absolutely free. You're going to need an image editing program for this, so check out GIMP if you don't want to use Paint. Alright, anyways, first go to File New, and we're just going to make pretty simple little thing here and as you can see right here we're just gonna add text to it that's all I'm gonna do you guys can make it all pretty and look nice and everything but I'm just gonna put fireworks tutorial on it and that's all I'm gonna do and as a matter of fact I'll make this uh red okay click OK and I'll just size this up a bit and I'll place it in the middle okay and just close this up once you're done go to file save as and this is really important as well we're gonna save it to our desktop and that's not the important part anyways uh, on name just name whatever you want and I'll just name watermark example and make sure to put BMP for bitmap. Unfortunately, Virtual Dub, this logo filter only works with bitmap file. So we're just going to make sure to put dot .bmp for dot .bitmap. And click OK. Or actually save. And export. And then here's another important part. Right here it says advanced options. We're just going to click that arrow. Make sure it's on 24 bits. Unfortunately, it doesn't read 32 bits or 16 bit or whatever it is. It only reads 24 bit bitmap files. And we're just going to click save. It's not that complicated. And once you're done, I'm just going to I have my virtual dev photo right here. So what I'm going to do is by the way, links will be in the description for all the downloads. I'm going to go in plugins and Right here, you guys probably don't have this logo.vdf file. This is our logo filter that we'll be using to add the watermark to. So you'll, I'll put the link in the description for the logo filter. You're going to download it, and you're going to make sure to put it in the folder, the raw file. By the way, if you, can, you, if you can't extract raw files, make sure to check out fwtdownloads.tk. I have a bunch of extractors there. Simply all you have to do, right click and extract here. And extract that down there. So you won't be needing anything else except the .vdf file. So you can delete it or you can leave it. It's your choice, whatever. So here you go, logo.vdf. And I'm just going to be loading up my virtual dub. Another thing is, I have to admit, virtual dub is a bit picky, but once again, it's free. And it works really well. You need to import AVI files. It only reads AVI files. So, you need to import that. And we're just going to go to right here, go to video, filters. If you guys can't 
go to filters for some strange reason make sure it's on full processing mode and we're going to go to filters and we're going to click add scroll down to the logo filter right here and make sure it's by Donald's graft because you've got two logo filters right here so click OK and we're going to go to browse and we're going to click on our watermark so we've imported our watermark another helpful thing click on show preview to see how the watermark is you might want to make your watermark a bit smaller than mine because mine is like huge yeah so if you guys want like a tiny watermark on the side make it smaller I just want to make this example a bit big anyways here in the preview it shows you how where your watermark is going to be located so right here is it will move the Y is where it will move vertically and the X is to move horizontally well obviously mine fills up the whole darn screen so I'm just gonna move it down you guys might want to make it like bottom left corner or actually right corner or wherever it is depends on you guys and transparent color right here you guys can see we've got this ridiculous huge ugly white thing on outside so what we want to do is click transparent color and for example if I've got like right here so I'm gonna make the blue zero so for example red and click 255 sure okay anyways for example if I want to remove that uh, that white preview what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert 255 for all three and as you guys can see I got rid of the white if you guys want to remove like if you have black you're gonna click actually you're not gonna click but you're gonna type in zero for all three if you have black but obviously I don't have black so I have white I have to insert 255 for all three and for example if you just wanna if you have like you guys can see that this is not red this is like a mix between red so if I insert 255 for red it's not gonna remove it because it's not red it's pretty picky but it's once again it's a free program what do you expect and you've got green it has to be full green blue blue to remove it but if it's not it won't be the colors won't be removed as you guys can see I have like white full white so it got removed well, we, you can see the little bits on here but if you tune down the opacity you're not gonna see anything so you've got that full uh, white background removed there you go problem solved so if you have like black background you can make sure to insert 0, 0, 0 for all three and right here is where you can choose your opacity if you guys don't want it to like cover your recording you guys want it to be a little see-through you can make it like around a hundred as you guys can see it got a little lighter and maybe 150 or something like that and so simply that's how you add a watermark to your videos using virtual dub might not be the best way or actually it might not turn out the best in this video but if you guys take your time on yours it'll probably look great so this is the free way to add a watermark to your videos if you guys um, want the links I'll definitely have it in the description for you guys and I'll just play my video really quick here and as you guys can see let's show it right there um, as you guys can see wherever I go the watermark is following the video so that is it. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Fireworks Tutorial.